Hey guys, so I'm back with another video on my how to make your baby look realistic in a car seat. Today I will be focusing on Autumn, who is a sleeping baby. So in this video I'll be focusing on how to make a sleeping baby look realistic in a car seat. So Autumn is my Noah kit by Reva Schick and she is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to place her in the car seat and show you guys just a few tips that I do to make a sleeping baby look realistic in a car seat. Okay so we have Autumn in the car seat. The first thing just like I did with Pablo, <coughs> excuse me, is clip her in. Clipping the babies in is very vital I find in helping with the realism it just makes it look like your baby is supported in there and just gives her a lot more realism whether it's a boy or a girl so the next tip that I will give is with a sleeping baby tilt their heads towards the sides you don't see a baby's head specifically one way it may be tilted to the left or to the right so I always tilt Autumn's head generally this way. I just find it more realistic for her. But all babies can be different. So you'll just have to find what's most realistic for your baby. Whether it be to the left or to the right. So the next thing is sometimes you like to cover up your babies. So what I would suggest to cover up your babies is possibly, this is what I do. I don't know if it's the same for everyone or if people are different is I put in this top bit through the top I've got like a gap I do this I put a blanket kind of like in between that bit and over the baby so autumn is covered in there <laughs> You may want to kind of like spread it evenly on the sides as well. As you can see, she's a lot less. You can't see her as much in there. You can just see like parts of her. And again, on this side as well. So this side, she's completely covered. It depends on how you spread out your blanket, I suppose. And then the front as well. So it's like that. Um... And then, of course, you can just pull it over if you want to check on baby. And you can pull these sides down. So that the sides show less baby. So you can't see her face as much in the sides. But another thing you can do with blankets is obviously put them over baby and cover up her limbs. So for autumn, I do like to cover up her limbs only because I'm very... I do get nervous taking the babies out, but I like taking the babies out. So one thing I do is cover their limbs a bit. I always pull it down like one side and maybe put one hand out. Generally I put her semi-closed hand out because it can grab onto things. So I can make it grab on to that like that. But sometimes you also may want your baby to have a dummy. So Autumn has several types of dummies. She's got her magnetic one which just goes right in her mouth and then if you look at the side it looks like she's sucking on it but if you don't want to use a magnetic dummy or if your baby doesn't have a magnet and they do have an open mouth another thing you can use is a modified dummy so this one is modified for autumn so it just goes in her mouth like so it's kind of a little big for her face but it's not too bad and then I've got a dummy clip on here to show you that you can also use dummy clips. This kind of like helps with the realism personally, I find. And I just like using dummy clips also so I don't lose the dummy. So that's another tip I like to do. Autumn at the moment has no shoes on, so I could put shoes or socks on her. I just have some little size zero mini club shoes by Next or Mini Baby. And they just fit on her feet like this. so you can't see but putting on little shoes helps these are next mini in fact 
they just go on her feet like so. So for those babies who fit good size, you might want to find a shoe size that does fit your baby because if you've got a three to six month baby and you're putting nine to twelve month shoes on, it will look quite out of proportion. So you want to find that like, shoes that fit your baby also. And smaller babies do curl up, so you may want to try and curl their legs up or she's a three month baby, so necessarily I don't have to do that with her. And you can also maybe make a leg stick out if it's in the summer. And obviously again pick clothes weather appropriate so because it's nice and sunny outside she doesn't really need any sort of um, coat or anything so just having her like that helps but you may want to put a hat on I do have a hat for autumn I will have to take this off because I've got an elastic bit on it so the elastic goes under her head and that goes over this just helps to protect this hat because it's quite large hat on her as you can see it's very large but you can make it fit you know you can if you find a hat that you like that doesn't exactly hurt you can easily just trim it down to make it fit so that hat looks like that on her and then you can also put a dummy back in as well And that does help with realism that's what I find helps with realism and again you may want to put a car seat toy on so obviously find a gender appropriate car seat toy you might you can use boy ones on girls and girl ones on boys but personally oh, excuse me I do like to use car seat toys that work for that gender so I've got the one of Peter Rabbit's sisters I don't know the names but one of them for her, uh, this is just a pull one, it's just a little soft toy that works and then you can have that hanging from the side when they're asleep. So they are just a few tips and tricks to help a sleeping baby look realistic, excuse me, look realistic in a car seat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to show you what Noah looks like in this car seat so you get an idea of what boys and girls may look like and Noah has rooted hair so I may not necessarily put a hat on him either so I've got Noah in my hands I'm just going to put him in a car seat because of his rooted hair I don't necessarily have to put a hat on him because of um autumn having painting hair sometimes I do put a hat on her sometimes I don't it depends how I feel Noah is my smallest baby so the car seat is a bit large on him compared to Pablo and Autumn because they are both not three month baby and he's more of a newborn he's only a 19 inch kit so well actually no he's a 20 inch but he is smaller so I do tighten it up for him as you can see and you can see already how he looks in there I love how Noah looks in here in the car seats he always looks so precious I do put scratch mitts on him though just because of hands but again they do help with realism so it does help and he's a lot more smaller so he does curl up quite nicely you know as you can see he curls up really nicely he looks so cute I do have dummies for him but he doesn't necessarily need a dummy but he can work with dummies also and again he can he can work with hats but generally if I put this on him you'll see hats are very large on him <laughs> actually that's not too bad but it does look quite large but that's generally how I do Noah and I do put like a blanket on him also obviously to make him look cosy so that's how I make sleeping babies look realistic in a car seat I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and we'll see you soon bye everyone